How's it going, everybody? Wednesday Bible study. Still in Luke 23. And we will stay there. And we will also be in Revelation 14. And saying, if thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in the letters of the Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, if thou be the Christ, save thyself. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, does not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man have done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. That all just came into his heart. And the other guy does get turned after this because you read that in another gospel. So, yeah. Jesus and Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt thou be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour, which is noon, and there was darkness all over the earth until the ninth hour, which is 3 p.m. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. So the old covenant is now dead. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. And when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to that site, beholding the things which were done, smote their breast and returned. From whence they came, I'm assuming. Revelation 14, 14 through 20. And I looked and behold, a white cloud. So this is harkens back to. Jesus said, I come in the clouds. Revelation. Revelation 1, 7. Revelation 1, 7, King James Version, Bible Gateway. Behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, all kindreds of the earth, shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. And we just saw the that sort of, that wail when they were beating their chest, the people beholding things which were done, smote their breast in return. So that's a, where's the word I'm looking for? Shall wail. Yeah. I was looking for be whale. <laughs> Shall wail. So having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, which is why, you know, the iPhone people or Apple, you know, that bite out of the Apple. That was their first logo and the first Apple computer was $666. Um, they call it the cloud because the ghost is in the machine. We've said that many times, haven't we? Trust in thy sickle and reap for the time has come for thee to reap for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven. He also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the altar, which had power over fire and cried with. And cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine for the. Of the earth for her grapes are fully ripe. Now that is the. That's God's wrath there. So God, Jesus, is removing his church. He's reaping them. And now the other angel 
Well, you're about to read, and the angel thrust in a sickle on the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.